Welcome back, everybody, to Hot Mix VA Radio. We're live back here with Northern Next Sports Talk Live, right here in Tappahannock, Virginia. Me, you, sports, sports coach Thomas Rohn, along with my homeboy Sam, Sam Mills. Unfortunately, our homeboy Will ain't gonna be able to be here with us tonight. You know, his wife has to go through a little surgery, so we want to send up a little prayer to her. You know, hope for quick, quick healing. You know, and ask for the good Lord to you know wrap his arms around her and make sure everything goes well, man. But unfortunately, we we right back here again, episode twenty. Yeah, I missed you know last what I'm week. Had little complications that work couldn't get all the time. Hey, that, that, that's all right though, man. Yeah. You know, we got each other back though. When, when one can't make it, the other one is here just like the night Will ain't here, and, and you was able to make it, man. That's what we here for. Man. That's what, we're here for man. what about LeBron last night, man? You see him break that thing? Yeah, he did it. He, he did, did it, man. With the, with the good fadeaway and all that, yeah, joint. Yeah, I, I, I thought he was going to go with, with the sky hook, bro. But I, I saw him, uh, they had a little uh, video of him like practicing before the game, so I thought he was going to try to hit the sky hook. You know, for the first time, he had a little fade away. So that, 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 that would have been dope. You know, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Sure. I don't know how, how much, you know what I'm saying, he was, the, big, the old man would appreciate yeah, that. Just, you know, because, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, he's been yeah, talking yeah. a little grease on LeBron yeah, sometimes, yeah, yeah, you know, exactly. so. But it seemed low-key hating on him, but I mean, <laughs> you know, he had, he had the record for 38 years, man. So, man, 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 Almost forty since eighty four. I was two yeah. years old. I mean, the break is almost long older than LeBron James. I swear, man. Who, who you think up next to break? Took pride. Like I told you earlier, I think Luke can do it. Damn fool. I know. Luke got to stay healthy, man. I, I mean, but can you no know one, no one, no one can be six nine, two uh-huh. sixty, and have a have have a, a great career like LeBron. I mean, you, you think of my brother been doing it, John, for what, like 20 years now? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, Luke, I, how long Luke been in the league now? Uh, About five years now. I think mean, like four or five years. I say five years, but Luke came in the league young. He came in the league when he was like 19. The same, yeah. bigger, the same age as LeBron, too. And yeah. He's dropping yeah. those same games, having those same games, having those triple doubles. You just like right. LeBron James, you know right. what I mean? So, I mean, and imagine cool. if he plays 20 years. He already said one time before that playing in the NBA is too easy to him. He said playing overseas yeah. was a lot harder because you're able to be, you know, have that physicality and play physical. So I, I think it's nothing for him. Man. I mean, if he stay healthy, because Luca ain't no small man, man. Oh, he, 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 he he'll get through it, man. Wrong. So I mean, if he stay healthy and everything like that, and try to get on that same regimen as yeah, LeBron, it, it yeah. definitely can happen. And anything about like, look at your average big man now compared to how they look back in the day. Your average big man back in the day was like a big sloppy guy. Yeah, he does right. now you look look at how like Dwight High Dwight Howard kinda of like slammed down and, and kinda of got right and like JaVel McGee, all those yeah. guys take care of themselves now. So that's gonna even so then if the big man can do that, what about the smaller guys too? I think and that's I mean LeBron James testing to that. I mean you got six right nine and put thirty eight years old two sixty and still averaging thirty <laughs> points a game, bro. That's crazy. That's phenomenal. Bro. And the crazy part, I, I see him still doing this for about a good three, four more years. Exactly. He, he gonna he gonna put that that, that scoring title up there so high, man. It's gonna be hard for anybody to break it. Then on top of that, you know he coming in top four in assists. Ain't, ain't nobody else doing that like that, man. I, I love George, but you know and I'm a Kobe guy, but like I got I got I got I don't see the goat now. He, he, he's the guy, but yeah. he, 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 he the king, Jay. He's the king, Jay. He's the one. He's the one. He did what he had to do. They but he had to the expectations. I know that's right. Well, like we said, man, we back here. North Lake Sports Talk Live, episode 20, right here at Hot Mix VA Radio Studio in Tappahannock, Virginia. We're going to bring it back, take a little, a little break real quick, and we're going to bring it around back to North Lake Sports Talk Live. Like our, big, like our dog Will said, get your popcorn ready, turn it on all the TVs and that, turn it up loud and all that, man. Come ride with us for the day. Next Sports Talk Live, myself, Will Lewis, along with Coach Thomas Rowe. You are now listening to Hot Mix VA Radio, brought to you in part by Seagull's Legacy Event Center, the event establishment that will exceed your expectations. Book them now for your wedding receptions, birthday party, family affair, or church function. Let them bring happiness to you and each and every one of your guests. Dinner options are only available on the weekends. Now back to your regular scheduled program on Hot Mix VA Radio. Welcome back to North Next Sports Talk Live, everybody again. Football youth coach Thomas Ron here with my homeboy Sam Mills. Again, we want to send prayers out to the homeboy Will's wife. You know, about to go through surgery, man. Um, we here, man. Another another good week of basketball. You know, we got football coming up this week and everything. But we want to concentrate on the Northern Neck because the tournament time is coming. You know what I'm saying? Basketball tournament is coming. Lancaster is still on the road. You know, Westside 
they're still, you know, showing their dominance in the area, you know, and yeah. and I mean, at the end of the day, my Essex Trojans, man, they still, they still fighting. They ain't, yeah. they, they are not out of the battle yet, you know. So I mean, but coming up, you know, we're gonna start at, on February the third, you know, with Lancaster over there. Um, them boys still dominate over there, man. They putting up big numbers. All, all of their starters over there is just doing their job, and, and they keeping their foot on everybody next yeah. in the north neck, man. It's ridiculous. Um, last last Friday, I believe it was, they played Northumberland. Mm -hmm. They put up um, 76 points to north size 35. Wow. Then they turned around and played last night, I think. Yeah, it was last yeah, night. One of last night against Brown and Hatton. And Lord have mm -hmm. mercy. <laughs> I mean, 78, 78, 16, man. Well, what's, what's your thoughts on that game? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't even want to make it a big joke. You know, yeah. you know I'm, I'm going to be on joke time. But yeah. bro, man, when it gets to that point, man, that's kind of embarrassing, bro. I mean, like, you know, I'm going to put up 35. I mean, yeah. that's embarrassing, too. But I saw I saw that uh, Redman had only had like, like six or eight points. What, at halftime or something like that? So, I mean, like, how, like what? Like, what are you doing? Like, as a coach, like, yeah. how can you even get by that? You know what I mean? Like, what can you even tell your players? You know what I mean? Like, it's like, did they even, did they just come in the game like, hey, we're just ready to lose anyway? I mean, I think losing like this is worse than losing in football. Yeah. 56 to 6. Because yeah. in football, is like, you can, you can show your dominance from mm -hmm. the get-go. You kind of already know. I mean, you kind of already know you're going to lose in Lancaster, too. And that's why I feel like, man, it's a little bit different, bro. If you come out there and put your pants on the same way they put their pants on, you can kind of do a little something to score at least 40 points, bro. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, see, I'm not saying beat you. Not, we know you're going to beat them. But at least come in there and score 40 points. You 16 points, man. And, and the crazy part, I mean, is is. It's getting out into the county, man. A lot of the alumni, you know, it is. They've been chirping. They've been chirping. They've been chirping. You know, chirping. look on Facebook, they've been chirping. And I, and I understand them, man, because, I mean, if you if you got that pride in your program, yeah. then you hate to see your program sure. on a downhill like sure. that. You know what I'm saying? It's embarrassing, man. It's, it's, it's an, it's, and I know it's a new coach. Yeah. But, again, you know, if that's your, you know, if that's your job, then you got to do yeah. whatever you got to do to be able to pull that, pull a yeah. victory or, or at least, I, 20 I, points, bro, 20, 30 points. Six points. It, it's yeah, crazy. Their had. record right now is what, like? I think they won like two games, bro. No, I think they won three games. Three? I think they won okay. three games. You know what I'm saying? But but still, you know, you got you got to give a little bit more effort. And I'm pretty sure, you know, the yeah. alumni, like you said, the alumni. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. 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 We gonna go to um West Side. They still on the dominance. You yeah. know, they they still. They number two in the district yeah. right now. You know, they're currently at 14 to 6. Uh they're second place in the district. They had a game on Friday against Colonial Beach. Um they yeah, uh, yeah, they had a game Colonial Beach Friday night. Um I think Darian Fonderoy had 22 points. Okay. And uh Vaughn Harris had about 12. Yeah, um that was a pretty good game. Uh kind of close at first. And that just pulled away. I mean, it's kind of hard for Columbia Beach, bro. They only have about like eight players. Yeah, that's to crazy. play with. So I mean, five little guys but that pretty much with those eight game. players, Columbia Beach has, has been able to straighten out three that three wins. Yeah, this year. I mean, are they even district wins or against wins that? Get... I think one is district. One might be. No, 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 yeah, no, yeah, no. If anyone has lost to Columbia Beach in the district, let's go ahead and throw it out. <laughs> But I mean, West, like I said, Westmore, they put up 59 points last Friday against Colonial Beach. They had 28. And I mean, Westmoreland, they had a big game last night against my Essex Trojans. Oh, yeah. You know, and what I've what I heard, it, it went back and forth. You know what I'm saying? But unfortunately, Westside came out on top of that yeah. one, 66 to 59. You know, we, we'll definitely dive in deeper into that one a little later. But what, you, what do you think you, um, Westmoreland's chances are at being able to? Take out Lancaster in the in the tournament because I'm pretty sure they they're not gonna meet again probably until, until the yeah, tournament. Right, you know, sure. uh, now I just think they gotta just be consistent. Um, find the open guys if you if you see the high hand and just keep it in the high hand. Yeah. Uh, set set all ball screens for that high hand. Uh -huh. Work inside out. Um, just be aggressive, not too aggressive, but just be aggressive, man. I think. <laughs> If they can hit their shots and then just like, like I said, man, just play aggressive, they can, they can possibly do something. They can probably definitely make some noise. I mean, same like the last couple of weeks they did. And I mean, yeah, as, they, as you saw last year, you don't have to win the districts. No, no. You, know what you mean? don't so, have to win the district when it stays as the same. Yeah, they can definitely make some noise. I just want to put it like this. Even if, if 
they don't run into uh well they're not gonna run into them until they made like regionals or something. Yeah, they can definitely make some noise for sure. Especially if they can talk keep keep the extracurricular stuff out of the way. Cause yeah, yeah, the last couple weeks they've been right quiet over there. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah, real yeah. good to see yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that and they push the games to about six o'clock, so I mean you can't really do much. Yeah. They had about twenty police inside the game last <laughs> night. So I mean I pretty sure there's a lot of balance going on outside the game. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah, it is, it is, but, you know, but at the end of the day, as, as the extracurricular stuff went to the side, you see they're more locked in. Yeah, for sure. For because sure. they didn't want that last, you know, I think they won all of the last couple of games, you know, so yeah. it seems like they're locked in. They are a threat in, in the district still, regardless if Langston is undefeated. You know, like I said before, just because you're undefeated don't mean nothing. Yeah. You know, no, just, just, you say about it, I want to say they're four and five in the last couple games and the only game they lost yeah. to was to Lancaster. The Lancaster. Yeah. So, so I mean, I mean they, yeah. they beat just about everybody. Yeah, that that Lancaster. Lancaster. In that Lancaster game, man, it was good. It was close. To third quarter, yeah. man. The Lancaster does the Lancaster thing, so. I know that's right. Getting to the Essex, um, starting last Friday, you want you want to start off with them? Well, uh, Essex? We can. Yeah, Essex last Friday, um, even with them, they started off rough during the season, but as you noticed in the last couple of weeks, they really picked up you know, the last couple of games, I think right. they, they on a, was on a four game winning streak okay. until last That's night. Right. Um, so who did they play on last Friday? Last Friday they played Rappahannock. Okay. Um, they came out on top of that one, 64 to 38. Um, Malachi Thorne, he had, he had 12 points that game, went six for eight on his free throws for 75%, had two rebounds, eight assists, yeah. two steals, then I mean, as always, the senior, the big man on campus, oh, Cam yeah. Robinson, he came in with 28 points. Um, he went 13 for 17 on his field goals. Wow. We gave him 17. Now, just saying, I don't lie, man. Dude was very efficient, man. Yeah, he, 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 and that's every week, man. Yeah, it's not a yeah. week that I've seen yet that he's scored under 20-something points. Wait, he's averaging 25 yeah. and 16. He told that himself. Man, 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 three sports. Yeah, exactly. Man. That's, exactly. that's crazy. Exactly. But again, with, with his stats, he went seventy six percent from you know from 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 the field you know twenty two rebounds which is excellent yeah, it's crazy. and he's, he's crazy. putting up double double digits and rebounds every week right. right then on top he added an assist then he got a steal then the young boy the sophomore Dominic Ash Ash like he yeah. came in with twelve points okay went four for seven on his field goals fifty seven percent yeah two rebounds four assists and two steals. Then as always, the little homie Will Smith, who's also a senior. He, Will Bynum. I mean, Will, I said Will Bynum. Will Monroe, man. He's Will Smith, man. Lord have mercy. I'm thinking about the new bad boys, about to come on bad boys four. But Will Monroe, he came in with six points, yeah. two for two on his free throws, two rebounds, three assists, and three steals. So a complete effort from everybody yeah. on that yeah. game, you yeah. know, to be able to take out Rapper Hand. You know, they coming in, they had a game on, um, I think it was six. Monday. Monday. It was uh, Matthews. Uh huh. Yeah. And they played on uh, Matthews. They, you know, took Matthews out. It was a good game. Yeah, how how did uh, the leading score for Matthews do? Oh, the I know he put up 20 plus. Uh, the senior Taylor Get? I yeah, think yeah. His name. yeah. I think he put up uh, 26 points, uh, four rebounds, <laughs> three assists, <laughs> one steal. So, and that was just one. Yeah. But it, it wasn't just only him from that team because it was a really yeah, good game. He had another uh, guard with him, too, that can actually ball. Yeah. yeah, I think his name is Trey Green, I okay. believe. Um, right. 18 points, one rebound, three assists. And they had a sophomore named um, Jordan Cosby. He came in with nine points, uh, eight rebounds. He also put up two assists and three steals. So, I mean, Matthews gave him a run for the yeah, money. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, you know, I, again, you know, Cam Ross in that game, he put up 31 points by himself. <laughs> 31 points by himself. He went 13 for 20 from the field goal. He went 5 for 7 from the free throw line. We gave him 71% on the day. Um, 16 rebounds, no, another double digit rebound day. Four steals and three blocks. That's crazy, man. He might have put up college numbers in high school. Seriously. You know, so then you come in with Dominic Ash mm -hmm. Ashlock again, 15 points, four assists. Uh, then Dorian Harris added on another 12 okay. points, uh, 10 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 steals. So again, a complete effort, yeah. you know, from, from them. So, I mean, it's, it's just good seeing them judging the way they have, yeah. meaning that the fact that they started off one and yeah, four. Yeah, they started off slow, yeah, finally but, getting it together. you know, like you said from then, it was just because of yeah. them coming off. I just, I just believe, man, they're a little bit deeper, man. They could definitely make some
make some noise in yeah. the district. Because, I mean, the eight that they run, man, even, like, they, they're, they're pretty strong. Yeah. Like, they, they know their roles and they play together. But I just think they had a few more, maybe, like, another big man to really help Cam out, man. I think I think they could definitely be. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with you, man. Well, we're going to take a break, man. We got a couple bills to pay. We're going we gonna to bring it on back. We want y'all to come back with us. Tune in, go get you some popcorn, put it in the mic, or wave, let it warm up, or whatever. But make sure you come on back here with us at Hot Mix VA Radio. Tuition assistance is available than ever, paving the way for debt-free education and training. And Rappahannock Community College is here to help. Earn a degree, certification, or even start college in high school. Success starts here. What are you waiting for? What's happening, everyone? Thanks for tuning in to Northern X Sports Talk Live. I'm saying it. <laughs> What's happening? Everybody? What y'all doing? I mean, I'm sitting here chilling with my man Thomas Roll, man. We just yeah. sitting here kicking it, bro. There we go. You see, remind me of a, 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 a commercial I saw. It was like it was a commercial, it was an interview with a dude and Deion Sanders. Uh -huh. It was like, dude, he was a black like a like an announcer. Know, and he was talking to me. He was like, hey, I'm here with uh, you know, Deion Sanders. Yeah. Like, hey, cut, cut, cut. <laughs> They talk to me how you were just talk to me out here. Yeah, he said, you know, I'm not. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not. It's my bad, bro. Yeah, it was happening. It was happening. There we go. But no, we were getting to shout out to the middle school, Montreal Middle School basketball team. You know, they're 10 and 0. They won their their final game today. Okay. Shout out to them, led by Lydia Smith and Janae McDonnell. Those guys had a tremendous season, man. They won today, 47 to 27. Against Colonial Beach, so uh, shout out to them, man. That, that, that's, that's big, man. Man, that that's a big, you know, um, pipeline for yeah. Westmoreland over there. Yeah, man. Yeah, for sure. Figure, if the high school is doing what they're doing right now, currently with the basketball program, then you got a middle school program that's putting up numbers the way they're doing, and yeah. they're undefeated. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be real great for you know Westmoreland in the future yeah. when those boys get up there in high school and everything. It's crazy right. because um. I coached uh, the Rappahannock team uh -huh. well, a few years ago, and man, Lancaster was on fire back then. Yeah. Lancaster were winning, like, they were undefeated. You know what yeah. I mean? We were in the championship against Lancaster. And um, I think years before that, Lancaster was on fire. So now to see that another team is kind of like, you know what I mean, catching fire and yeah. becoming the number one team, it's, it's kind of it's kind of sweet. So it, it's, it's, I'm very optimistic to see what how Montreal Middle School is going to be in years to come, man. I, I expect them to be one of the top programs. I mean, yeah. if they're playing like this, they ain't going to do nothing but Jail even more over, sure. the, over the off season and stuff like that because again, coaches are starting to realize hey, either the AAU programs or whatever like that, yeah. they're getting these kids out there yeah. and putting them in these extra yeah. tournaments as they're young, so it's getting them prepared and getting them battle tested yeah. too. So yeah. I'm hoping yeah, that AAU circuit is definitely yeah. the way to go. You know, I, um, I had an opportunity to help. Uh, Shout out to Travis Strong, yeah, man. I know he's going through something right now. And shout out to him and his family, man. Yes, sir. Uh, you guys are mine. Say a few prayers for him and his family, man. But um, I had an opportunity to help out, you know, Golden Titans over the, over the summer, man. Yeah. And, and man, the competition out there is crazy, bro. And, and like I said, like you said, man, to get those guys in, in that AAU circuit, bro, man, and continue playing that, man, that'll definitely, definitely help them out. You definitely. Right. Man, look, look what it does for guys in football. How the money right. on and those that's guys right. came back and said what it does for them. So, right. yeah, it can do the same thing in basketball, bro. And again, uh, like like Sammy said, man, Travis, man, you, you in our hearts. We love you, big dog. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Go on, get through this joint. Come on back home. If, if anybody know about Travis, man, that man been putting on for the youth around here in the whole world the neck forever. <laughs> from football, from basketball. Taking on, on tournaments. Yeah, for sure. When it comes down to that dude, man, and when it comes down to the kids, he's going to run bro. this road for these kids, man. <laughs> so everybody, send a prayer for the big dog, yeah, Travis Fonderoy, Tina Fonderoy. Hey, right hey sis, you, you in our prayers. And we got nothing but big love for you over here at Northern Next Sports Talk Live, for man. Sure. Keep on doing what you're doing, Tina, over there at St. Margaret, uh, St. Margaret School with the females over there on the basketball court. Salute to both of y'all. Yeah. Um, we also want to give a big sh shout out to King Queens Central Tigers on Malik Holmes. Yeah. Um, he just committed to VMI this, uh, I think it was this past Friday, I believe yeah. they, 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 he committed. Yeah. Um, young man put on a, a, a great show for King and Queen over the last four years. I mean, he's a big reason why that program up there took a, a positive turn yeah. from where it was in the, in the 
years passed before he got there along with his teammates or right. everything. You know, he was the first um, first player from their school to get a, a D1 offer. Man. Yeah, That's first, crazy. first player, first That's player, crazy. man. And all of the years of the ones that was able to go to school, all of them went to Division three or yeah. the lower yeah. schools. He the first you know, one, man. Right. Ferrum is the pipeline for around here, man. If you want to go to a school, a lot of people go to Ferrum, man. Like, what, what's up with Ferrum, man? Like, I, I mean, they have their smaller school, yeah. and, and you know, they they just they just you know yeah. they just get the talent, yeah. you know. What I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, it, I mean, a lot of people went to Ferrum, but a lot of folks came home from Ferrum too. So, man, I was you gonna know, say so that. I mean, I didn't want to say that, but like, I mean, yeah. the mountains, man. The, yeah. the end of the, you figure, I, 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 I don't front, I don't hold no cut cards or nothing. My old, my middle son went to firm. Yeah. He got a, he got an offer to go to firm. He got an offer to play football at firm and everything like that. He went up there and it just wasn't for him. Right. You know, came back home, right. you know, along with some of his other boys or whatever like that. But unfortunately, thank God, you know, he, he, he came up of his age and grew up himself and everything like that. He's currently in Kentucky. Um, taking up welding, you know, okay. welding and okay. everything yeah. like that. Once he finished that, he's going to Louisiana to get the advanced welding. Gotcha. So at the end of the day, college, college is for some people and it ain't for some yeah, people. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Especially, it, the location is a big reason. Yeah. And firm is way out there. That's like six hours some change yeah, way yeah, there, yeah. man. I, I remember when we went to drop him off. We was leaving him, coming down the road. I'm looking, dang on bell. You want to a mile on that street from the dang old school of bell? I <laughs> got on the phone call the ones that like, boy, you better not leave that damn old campus from nowhere. Know that. <laughs> At all, man. But I mean, I'm pretty sure the nearest store was probably about 10 miles away anyway, right? Yeah, 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 it was out there. But I mean, again, Malik Holmes, King Queen Central Tigers, man, we want to salute you, big Shout homie. You, big dog. Congratulations on your commitment to VMI, man. And like we always tell everybody, man, it ain't over yet, man. Yeah. You're gonna have a lot of kids in that area up there in King Queen sure. that's looking at looking up to you because again you are the first player to come out of King Queen that's going to a division one school. So so go up there, do what you gotta do, man, and represent for your area, though. Um getting to the district wrestling champions um, yeah. championship. We had a that was this weekend. I forgot where it was located at. Um it was over there in Langston. Okay. Thanks, Giles, for that information, man. <laughs> With the clutches. Yeah. You know, but um Giles, Mr. Essex Cooper. had three wrestlers who won um won championships over there this week. Uh at the 150 pound, uh 150 pound, I guess, weight class. Yeah. We had Essex Trojans, Essex Senior, Markel Scott. Um, he came away with a, a couple wins that day. He also won a gold medal over there this weekend. Okay. But he won the championship over there. I don't know if it's gold or whatever, but I know he was one of the top winners. He won the championship. His um, season record right now is 19 and 4. Okay. Then you have uh, big homie Zamil Nelson. He won at the 190 pound weight class. Uh, we call him Bubba over here. Bubba. Um, yeah, yeah, Bubba. Big Bubba. Uh, but he won at the 190 pound weight class. He's a district champion now. Okay. Um, you got Warner Beasley from over here. That's the uh, uh, undefeated, right? Yes, he was okay. undefeated. But he won at the 157 pound weight class. Then you also had the runner ups, Miss Chloe Asher, you know, okay. the female yeah. over here. She got runner up at the 120 okay. pound um, weight class. Then you got Zaya Tarpany. He uh, had run up at the 144 pound weight class. Okay. So Essex was able to come away with a lot of wins this week, which was real good for the program. Um, I think they have another tournament. I think the last tournament is this weekend over at Langston again okay. this week. So hopefully we'll be able to come away with a couple wins this weekend and you know, put Essex on the map for wrestling and everything. But um, we're gonna get into the top 10 in the one a in basketball, man, and see what your take is on the season. Coming into the tournaments and everything like that. Uh, so we got number one, we got uh, Lancaster, 20 and 0. We got number two, we got George White, they're uh, 18 and 2. Auburn, the uh, state champions, 17 and 4. Alta Vista, uh, who WL played in the States last year, 14 and 4. We got Franklin at 20 and 2. Middlesex, number six, at 18 and 2. Middlesex beat my high school uh, lost to like ninety something to like forty something. Oh, yeah, oh, that hurts. Beat the brakes off. <laughs> um, 
What's the school here? I can't read your uh, uh, uh chill, 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 Likes to play two of those top ten teams, right? Who? Uh, I think they played Alta Vista. Alta Vista and uh, at a tournament, uh, yeah, at a tournament they beat them eighty-one to sixty-six. What other team they played? Middlesex a few weeks ago they played them. They beat them uh, eighty-one to thirty. They also played one time and beat them 67 to thirty-five. So how does the the basketball tournament break down? You know, as far as the brackets, or whatever. Because I know it's just like football. You got A, B, C, and right. D, right? Yeah, okay. I, I honestly had no idea. How I think that I look at it. Right a, I think A one A takes eight from their division. Okay. B takes I think six. Okay. C I think they take eight, and D I think they take eight. So a total of what like thirty eight teams, mm-hmm. something like thirty teams, something like okay. that. Okay. Well, it's gonna be quite interesting. Man. I mean, there's still a lot of competition out there that Lanks they ain't faced yet. Nah, that they're sure. gonna they're sure. gonna face in that tournament. Yeah. So. It's gonna be real good to see what they do when it when it gets to that. So everybody gotta keep their eyes focused and, and ready to play, man. But until then, we got more bills. When we come back, we're gonna talk about the NFL. Throw a couple of feet, um, f- couple of the girls' basketball scores out there, man, and get to the Super man, Super Bowl, man. Patrick oh. Mahomes, Jalen Hurts is gonna be a big game oh, this yeah, weekend. Man. We're gonna see who's gonna come away with what. We'll be right back. North Next Sport Talk Live on Hot Mix VA Radio. Entertainment presents the second annual Kings of Southern Soul. Sunday, April 30th. Coming to the Press William County Fairgrounds. Manassas, Virginia. Performing live. King George. One Monday don't stop, no show. Very special guest, Tucker. Forever swing. P2K. Sir Charles Jones. Pokey Bear. My side piece. Calvin Richardson. I can't let go. J1. Move on. Big G. King South. J. Morris Crew, Lamar Bryce, Fat Daddy, Cadillac Man, and West Love. With special added attraction, DJ Cleave. Hosted by Andy B. Plus a big car show and a lot more. Gates open 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. Showtime 3 p.m. Tickets on sale now. Kings of Southern Soul 2 VA. Dot eventbrite.com. For more info, call 252-578-3504. Second annual Kings of Southern Soul at the Prince William County Fairground. 10624 Dumfries Road, Manassas, Virginia. Rain or shine. Sunday, April 30th. Welcome back, everybody. North Next Sports Talk Live right here on Hot Mix VA Radio in Tappahannock, Virginia. Me, you, football coach Thomas Rohn, and my homeboy Sammy Mills. Again, we want to shout out to our partner, Will Lewis. Praying for your wife, man. She goes through surgery tomorrow. So we'll see you next week, big dog. We're going to run over a couple of the female scores for this week. Um, Essex, they played on Monday, I believe. They played Matthews. The females came out real good, put up 35 points to Matthews, 25. Um, senior Haley Mahone, she put up nine points. And we got a sophomore, Jayla Mercer. She put up 18 points, four for six on her free throw, 67%. Man, that young lady, she been balling all. Regardless of what our score, our record is, yeah. we're six and eight right now. We're three and three in the district, so we're second. But Jayla, she been balling all all year, man. If you okay. go back, look through Max Preps and look at her stats and yeah. everything, it, it, it's, it's, it, she's very consistent, man. Every, every week is 20-some points yeah. or, 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 or 18 points, but it's very, very consistent with her, man. So I want to send a big a so shout, out to, shout and, out to her. And I mean, I can remember when she was younger, she's actually, she's my next-door neighbor. Okay. You know, she coached, okay. she's, Jonathan Mercer was just coach Pastor Mercer. And they stay right next door to me. So I used to look out the back door and see I was side practicing. Right. Um, right. My, my daughter used to go over there sometimes. And so the young lady, she's been balling for a while, man, and, and consistently putting in the work to get better, man. So it was real good to see a female being able to go out week in and week out putting up big numbers like that. Um, yesterday they played Westmoreland, and I think that was a rematch from earlier in the year, too, and, I think, and they came out on top right. of that one. Um, Essex put up 47, Westmoreland put up 39. And you got another lady by the name of Morgan Self. Okay. She put up 10 points, two for two on the free throws, 100%. Hayden Mahomes, she's a singer. She put up six points. And again, Jayla Mercer, you know, a good good effort, 13 points, one for two on the free throws, 50%. But the, the 
the big woman on campus is Cameron Robinson's baby sister, Erya Robinson. She had a great game with 12 points. So, I mean, like I said earlier, regardless of their record, man, you know, they're six and eight, but they, they come out and play together every week, man, yeah. putting up good numbers. They always fight to the to the to the end of the quarter. And I mean they never give up. That's the good thing. That next opponent, I think they play this Thursday against King and Queen. Okay. And um King Queen fifteen and two. I think they beat us one time. Yeah, they 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 uh I think they're first in time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They first in time with a district. So King Queen, they're not playing. So yeah. uh, if the girls come out play like how they've been playing all week, I I I'm not gonna say they're gonna win. Right. But any given any given game, anything can happen. So I mean, just go out there and play your game, ladies, and hopefully we can come away with the win. Um, taking it over there to rap, you know, wanna do them? Uh, on uh, February second, rap played against uh, Essence. The score was 61-39. Uh, Morgan Self had what, ten points, ten rebounds, two assists, seven steals, and two blocks. Um, the girl uh, Julia Mercer, we were just talking about, she had eight points, one rebound, five assists. And Arion Robinson had 12 points, three rebounds, one assist, and one block. Um, I mean, Rapid Handy has been just rolling all year. Yeah. And, um, we didn't really get the stats for, for the Rapid Handy girl team, but um, I'm pretty sure they were led by uh, Slaw. Yeah. Ken Slaw. I'm pretty sure she's continued to do the same thing that she's been doing all year. So um, I think they would be tough come regional time, and uh, you know, district time and regional time, too. Staying so regional speaking a little bit too fast, but I think they would be good, man. I mean, they're what? They're uh, 15 and 3 right yeah, now. And I just said a little while ago who King Queen was, King what? 15, 15 and 3. And three? Yeah. So, that, that's going to be something to, to look for when them two finally yeah. meet, meet up with each other when mm -hmm. it comes down to the tournament and everything like that. You know, but you got Westmoreland coming in um, at the girls' basketball. They're 6 and 11, third in the district. Okay. Their last game, they played uh, Essex. They lost four. They lost. They had 39 right? 47 last night. Right. Um, Colonial Beach, they coming on the season 7 and 12. They're fourth in the district. Uh, they played uh, West Point. The, I think it was on the 6th. Okay. And I don't know if that score is right that I got wrote down, but we're going to go skip past yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> their last game yeah. they played is, um, they played right behind it. Their last game is 2 9, which is third, I believe. Yeah. And they played them at 5 30. I think it's at. I think that wrap hand. Okay. Okay. You know, other schools in the in the area, you have um Northampton boys over Arcadia, uh, 102 to 58. Jeez. Uh you, yeah, right. <laughs> you got Carver Academy, number 10 Carver Academy for the boys. They went over um King Williams 71 to 46. Uh who else we got here? We got uh Colonia Beach. Nope, we got number four Surrey. 48 over Greenville, 46. You got number two Windsor, boys basketball team, 62 over number seven Appomattox, 14. You got number three Franklin, but boys basketball, 51 over Southampton, 25. So a lot of football in the area. Lord, my mind's still on football, but a lot of great basketball <laughs> through the whole state of Virginia. Yeah. And it's getting close to tournament time, man. Yeah. So we're going we gonna to really see what Langston is really Actually, about. Man, he was rocking, man. Yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a whole lot of good games. Oh, yeah, like like sure. we said, Lancaster haven't faced all of the tough teams yeah. now. So it's yeah. really going to be grind mode for them and mm -hmm. really see what they really are about, man, to, to bring to the table. And I, and I got them being able to come away with um, a championship this year. I, I got I got them bringing it back to the Northern Neck this oh, year. Yeah, sure. Which would be real great for the I, They're too fundamentally sound for anyone to beat them right now, man. No, that's right. Well, get into the football week, man. Sunday, who you got? Super Bowl, man. Let's keep it in our division, man. Keep it in our division? Why I gotta got keep it in my division? Well, I, I said let's keep it in the division. <laughs> I'm going for myself. Man. You asked me, I'm saying let's keep it in the division, man. I'm gonna go with the Eagles, man. Uh, I think I think that, that defense, man, that, that front seven of theirs is gonna apply some pressure to uh, Patrick Mahomes. Um, hopefully he's healed up from the ankle injury by now, yeah. but I mean they still want to apply that pressure to him, man. It's been how many days now since he last played? About ten days. Yeah, about, yeah, about, about that, ten yeah. days. So I'm pretty sure Patrick's gonna be healed up a little bit. Well, be fourteen uh, game days, so yeah, about two weeks. So. I mean, so let's let's compare both, off, you know, the offense offenses from the season. I mean, first downs. If you look at both teams right there, I mean, both teams are really stacked. 
from from top to bottom on the offensive side and the defensive side. Mm -hmm. I mean, Patrick Mahomes, I think he he has a better O line mm -hmm. than than um, the Eagles. But I don't believe the Eagles have a better defensive yeah. line than Kansas City. I mean, the Eagles, the Eagles are not bad either. You know, they got Jason Kelsey mm -hmm. and, um, and Lane Johnson and those guys too. So, I mean, they aren't that bad. You yeah. know what I mean? And, but that, that defense that they have, man, is just crazy. I mean, compared to – I mean, I'm talking about line compared to just the Chiefs when you just yeah. think about just Chris Jones. But, I mean, we can name countless of guys for the Eagles that's going to that's gonna apply some pressure too. So. Yeah, they're definitely going to apply some pressure. But, yeah. you know, it's, it's – are they going to be able to connect with Mahomes? Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, that's yeah. the thing. If Mahomes, if Mahomes' ankle is it messed up, he's going to find a way out of that. He's going to find a way out of that. Yeah, man. So, I mean, <laughs> just like last week, they thought they had, well, the week before last, they thought they had him. Yeah, the so, it didn't yeah. even look like his ankle was hurt. Yeah. You know, he picked up the first that then next thing you know, got the, the, the penalty on top of that, and next thing you know, yeah. Kansas City was winning. I mean, so, I mean, uh, uh, Bengals. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, it's, it's going to be a Good game. Yeah. I don't know how. I don't see nobody blowing away. No, it, no, it, it, no, I think it. That's a game about uh, twenty-seven, twenty-four, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eagles. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, we're gonna have definitely have to see. Yeah, right yeah, yeah, it's got Jalen Hurts on the ground. Yeah, Jalen Hurts gonna be the yeah. big difference maker, yeah. I believe, because regardless of the fact, Mahomes can't get out of the backfield like Jalen. No, he can't. Jalen is fast, and I mean, yeah. And then how they run that um. RPO to run pass option. Yeah, if, the, if the D is bite any on that running back, Jay is gonna take the running yeah. back on sideline yeah. about 10, 15 mm -hmm. yards. Or if, or if he might take a little throw a little top over to uh AJ Brown for a little screen or something that they bite on that run. AJ Brown and, and Devontae yeah, Smith, man, yeah. they they're they are two big wide receivers that you would love to have. Yeah, for both sure. of them both of them can go get the ball. Yeah. AJ is a great route mm -hmm. runner. Devontae is, is real he, strong. He didn't remind me of a T.O., man. Yeah. Like, yeah. He, like, he's a big guy. He's fast. He's a great route runner, yeah. man. He throw, throwing the ball. He goes up and get it, man. And then they had Devontae coming behind yeah. him, a, young, a younger guy. Mm -hmm. But he's looking up to A.J. too. So, right. I mean, he's right. feeding off of what A.J. Mm -hmm. doing. Then, I mean, it, it, it's just going to be a toss-up, man. Yeah. I do, do I... Let me see. Do I want to keep it at the division? Because I don't want to go against Patrick Mahomes, man. And, and, and you're right. You can't. You can't bet yeah, against Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid and those guys. But I just, I think the Eagles have it, man. Yeah, yeah. And I hate. That. I mean, I don't want to be that sore, that sore loser because you know they're in our division. But I mean, they got it, and we don't. Yeah, they they and got I, it. And I mean, they definitely have them. what it takes to to beat Mahomes. But it's just. You can't leave it up to the referees. You got to put your foot on their neck straight yeah. out the break. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, you can't give Mahomes. No type of any type of lead, but you got to take the game sure. from the jump, man. So I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Kansas City this week. But I can't go past yeah. Mahomes, man. I mean, five times he got to the NFC Championship, yeah. three times in the, in the Super Bowl, one time he came away with it. So until you beat him, you, you can't tell me nothing else, man. But the, the, the game of the week since we got through that game of the week, then we're gonna get on about here to next week is Essex versus Lancaster. Lancaster is 20 and 0. Essex is what? Uh what, what did I say earlier? They are 12 and 8, I believe. Yes. Sir. The last time we played Lancaster, Lancaster beat us 78 to 14. 78 to 42. 78 to 42. 42. Oh, no, geez. My bad. Essex. Nice. I'm so sorry. Look, we ain't gonna put no disrespect on our name like right that. Right. No, we ain't. <laughs> but 78 to 42. Yeah. Um, do I think they can beat them? It's a tall task for us to for us to do. Yeah. But what I can say, with Cameron playing the way he's playing, if the rest of our players step up and give him at least 10, 15, mm -hmm. 20 points, then it can happen. Yeah, because sure. one thing sure. you know with Lancaster, you gotta score big numbers. You have Cameron's to. gonna give you his. Yeah. But we need the rest of our our yeah, coach yeah, stars. Yeah, that's how like you said, the, yeah. other, the others have to step up, man, and give you like Dorian's gonna have to give you at least twelve to fifteen, Malachi twelve to fifteen, and Ashlock will give you maybe like ten points, a couple yeah. threes, man. I think you guys probably do it. Well, episode twenty. We came out here today again. Shout out to our homeboy Will Lewis. Wife has to go through surgery sure. tomorrow. Shout out to Travis Farm, the world had surgery this yes, week, sir. man. Shout out to you, big dog. Big love to y'all fellas, man. Me and my homeboy Sammy Mills. I'm Coach Thomas Rome, Northern Next Sports Talk Live. Right here on Hot Mix VA Radio again, man. We're going to catch y'all next week. We might have a, a good somebody in, in, in studio with us, maybe. 
If not, we're gonna be right here, back here with you going over basketball scores, football yes, scores, and whatever other. Locked in again. Locked in, man. No next sports talk live right here on Hot Mix VA Radio, Tampa Henry, Virginia. Salute. To no more next sports talk live, myself, Will Lewis, along with Coach Thomas Rowe. DJ Turtle, providing DJ services for all occasions. Nothing too big or too small. DJ Turtle is the one to call. To book, email jamesturtlehumphrey43 at gmail.com or call 540-207-6434. Hey, Oprah, chill out. Seriously, Tracy, now is a great time to start a new career. Well, yeah, that's why it's so important for folks to get a high school credential and work-ready skills. Yep. At Middle Peninsula Readies, adults can study in class, online, or with a tutor. Adults can take GED prep, reading, English, or computer skills classes. Oh, please. We can also help adults study for their driver's license citizenship test, or team up with area businesses to train for a new career. All for free. For more information and to register for class, call 804-769-1151.